the death toll jumping in California's most destructive fire ever. California has entered its fourth year of severe drought. Hillary, officially the first tropical storm to hit Southern California in more than 25 years. Eventually, California communities will have to offer up more land to the sea. Many of us in California know that climate change is impacting us. We've experienced worsening wildfires, droughts, floods, extreme heat waves, and sea level rise. Worse and more frequent extreme weather events and trends are impacting the state every year, making up-to-date information on climate change imperative to driving sound policy and investment decisions. Since 2006, we've been investing in groundbreaking science to better understand climate change and its impact on California. We call these California's climate change assessments. This is key to developing actionable, relevant, and community-led climate research. Too often in the past, so much of what state government or the federal government does is top-down. This fifth climate assessment is different. It's really meant to be informed by those on the ground, local community leaders, local tribes. We are excited to be standing up the first tribal research program in California's climate change assessments to do just this. So this scientific assessment needs to engage the public, engage community leaders, engage groups like really no other scientific assessment has before. And to do that, our Strategic Growth Council is managing that strategic engagement so that people across California can both inform the questions that we're working to answer through the scientific assessment, but then can actually receive the information that the scientific assessment is generating. Through ongoing engagement at the community level, this work will help guide our planning, investments, and decision-making towards ensuring a climate-resilient future for the residents of California. To better understand what are the questions that we need to answer, what are the impacts that we need to protect people from, and to shape the assessment around those needs. In 2026, new data, research, and reports will become available to the public. This model is unique in the ways it uplifts and aligns new and existing information, lived experience, and diverse perspectives that many, both within and outside of California, may learn from for years to come. This fifth climate assessment is underway, and there are important opportunities to engage, to shape the assessment as it takes place, and to learn from the groundbreaking science it produces. So stay tuned for opportunities where you can engage in California's fifth climate assessment.